Good morning, my brothers and sisters, young people. Uh, I was just thinking, I must have played for some of your parents or grandparents. I've been, I've been here uh, visiting and playing and sharing my music, I think since the 70s sometime. Um, I'm one of those uh, old hippie musicians that came out of the Jesus movement or came into the Jesus movement around 1970 was when I asked the Lord Jesus into my life. And uh, it's been uh, a blessing and an honor and a privilege to be a musician for God all these years. And uh, I, the last time I was here, it was an overwhelming, wonderful experience to worship and to uh, proclaim the way I do in my funny sort of way, in my musical sort of way. But glad to meet you all. I'm not at all intimidated that I'm up here by myself uh, now that uh, our, our, uh, Steve has left the, the stage. So I'm going to start off with something that uh, helps me just push right ahead and uh, and that's one of my favorite songs that I like to do for you. It's called Salvation Army Band. And uh, so let's get right down to it. Grace and mercy and peace to you all.
I wrote uh, last year, um, um, inspired by George MacDonald, some of his thoughts. the 
early dawn Oh, to hear a voice speaking I am with you all day long And to know that love has a face The giver of amazing grace so much. Um, I'm going to praise the Lord with my guitar on this one. Uh, this is called uh, Shades of Green. And it's a lot, a lot of fun to play if these capos uh, behave themselves, you know. They somehow, yeah, sometimes they slip, slide away, uh, and uh, create havoc on my fretboard, but uh, it's okay. Here we go. Wow. This is energizing being in your presence. Thank you.
Thank you very much. Um, well, I don't know how long I've gone. It goes to what, 11.15, is it? Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Don't talk, just go. Yeah, I will. <laughs> this next song is a, an old George Harrison song, and it's called Here Comes the Sun. I heard you like this. think about the Lord Jesus returning to this earth again in his power and his glory and, and full of love and, uh, and every eye shall see him and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord and every knee shall bow and we'll really get to know him for who he really is because uh, I, I believe through the centuries he's been so misrepresented uh, except for those who really have the Holy Spirit and they live a life of love and uh, you know, it's like Jesus said, I did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. And those who have his spirit within him and her uh, have that like-mindedness. And uh, I just want to say I'm so grateful for the gospel. It's, I've said it before. It's the greatest news in the world and the earth. And uh, you, you, you folks are here because you believe that, too. So um, 
uh, I, I just want to recommend that you continue to believe as you do and uh, grow in grace and strength in him. Uh, this song here is a song written by Bob Dylan I really want to do for you because I'm a fan of Bob Dylan's too. And, uh, and Bob was a fan, fan of uh, George and George was a fan of uh, um, Bob. But, uh, <laughs> This song is a song off of a, one of his albums in the 90s, and then uh, a young lady named Adele made it very popular. But um, this is my interesting version. I hope you like it, and I hope you hear it as a love letter from God himself. That's how I hear it. Okay, snarky, don't fail me now. Say hi to the folks. Anybody ever seen these guys? Pretty fun, little tuners. Okay, this is called True Believers. I pray that you have a great day and a great rest of the year. A happy Thanksgiving, a Merry Christmas, and uh, 
Walk in love. Appreciate you very much. Thank you always for inviting me back to Wheaton College. Thank you so much.
Thank you very much. God bless you all. Have a great day.